you know, when you open up the front door and the back door of St. C and you're in the gym, the ball's bouncing, your paramates throughout the whole neighborhood. Sam Washington got things started right after the riots uh, in the 60s, 67, 68, around that time. And they started a program there. And that's when I was probably about 10 years old when it first got started. That Sam Washington uh, was starting this basketball program at this church in the inner city of Detroit. And uh, I was fortunate enough as a real youngster to go down and start watching basketball and quickly learn that they're some of the best basketball players in this city uh, used, were, were playing at this venue because this was the proving ground. In that little small band box, uh, you were able to see uh, just tremendous basketball talent. You know, the impact that, you know, Saint, the Saint had on the community and the way people uh, felt, talked about it, uh, respected it. You got a love uh, for the city, but you also got a love for the people in the city. But St. Cecilia at that time for the neighborhood was a great outlet to be able to go up there and sit around all day and watch basketball. And that's what I did. When the rep reputation took off to like, you know, your Saginaw's, your, your Lansing, uh, you name it, they wanted to come down here to be proven too because uh, Magic Johnson told a story where when he was coming up, okay, everybody say, hey, Magic, you know, you're the best in Lansing, you're the best in East Lansing. But to see how you really are, you got to go to Detroit and play at Saints to see. But it brought a sense of pride, positiveness through the game of basketball. And I always say, Spencer Haywood, Leroy Haywood, they talked about that game of basketball to take us around the world, and it did. Saints to see is where pros was made. You know, this is where all of the guys in the city that played at all the different high schools and the pros competed against each other on the weekend. It was the mecca of basketball, not only in Michigan, but in the whole Midwest. St. Cecilia is just my lifeblood. It is the lifeblood of the city. We have to protect her and make it right again. It has to be looked upon as a privilege and even an honor to play in that building.